Thanks, Doc. Again, my name is Andy Rockmore, and I am lucky enough to be one of the architects working on a lot of the buildings here on campus. No doubt you have seen uh, the Wellborn House and Stevens Art Center, which are almost complete. And right now we're neck deep in the design of the gym and the theater. And instead of showing you all the great things that are going to happen in each one of these buildings, what I'd like to talk to you about is the process of making them. It's far more interesting and exciting way that we put these buildings together. And in a lot of ways, it's uh, similar to the way that I got here to be on this stage today. And I'll walk through it. Uh, this is, of course, what an architect does, uh, right? We all stand at our lectern and, and design great things. But actually, it's far more uh, scary in a way, and um, it can be not only scary but messy, right? When we don't know what we want to do, and we have to figure out, really search for answers that aren't just easily in a book. So, going back to when I was your age, when I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life, uh, I was lucky enough to go to the local college. Uh, in upstate New York, where I'm from, and walked up into a space just like this. This is an architect's studio, and I had no idea that a space like this existed, where you could think through problems and, and explore, and again, what an incredible mess this is, right? What a wonderful mess this is. So after five years of, of studying architecture, I still wasn't really sure where I wanted to practice architecture, so a friend of mine and I, got in a VW bus, and decided to drive around and find that out in that search for where do, where do we go? Where do we end up? And interestingly, the first day we were in the van, uh, we both kind of sheepishly admitted that neither of us really liked to drive. Here we were leaving on a five-hour journey, or a five-month five journey around the country, and uh, we didn't like to drive. So we made a deal with each other. You only had to drive two hours a day. And every time you drove two hours a day, you got another day off. So this is what it looks like when you drive around the country two hours at a time. <laughs> we went through uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains. We went through uh, Texas, seeing some great pieces of architecture. Uh, we, we finally got ourselves out to the West. This was the first time I had ever been out to the West. Amazing landscape that we all know and love. Uh, this is jumping off sand dunes in New Mexico. And we, after five and a half months, we were headed back to New York and actually ended up in Denver and ran out of money. I had $4.29 to my name. And it was time to get a job, of course, right? So uh, over the years, I got a job, was fortunate enough to be an architect and worked on some really fun projects. Spent four years of my life working on the Millennium Bridge here in Denver. And now, uh, I'm lucky enough to work with 50 other people, 50 other architects in an office that looks just like that architect studio in college. And again, that, that process is really similar to what we do every day, how we search for solutions that aren't in a book, that aren't, that aren't formulated. And, and it's so similar to what we've done here on this building in the theater. So what I want to do for you guys is just run through that messy process of figuring the theater out. It started, this was our first sketch. We know the problems with the theater that you have to walk in on stage here and uh, there aren't enough seats. Sure, it'd be nice to have some air conditioning, of course. Uh, a lot of problems and, and let's add a dance studio. So this was our first sketch. We thought we had it all figured out. It works, right? We, we come in from the back and we built it three-dimensionally and we realized it kind of looks like a turtle. <laughs> it's not good, it's not good. Uh, so back to the drawing board, right? You take one step forward, one step back. So we reorganized the whole thing. We put glass around the edge. Um, we, we keep the dance studio on the, on the south. And now we think we got it. We had uh, we had a lot more seats, and again, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Not enough seats. So here's here's a great idea. Let's let's add a big mezzanine space out overlooking Furman Field, right? And reorganize all of the seats, and we build that three dimensionally. And this is what you get. Again, 
pretty bad, right? Who wants to who wants to walk up to this? Is this a place of inspiration of, of performance? So back to the drawing board again. And, and when we get to these points, <laughs> right? This is what it feels like. This is what it feels like almost every day, right? We're not sure where we're headed. We're not sure what the next step is. So after sketches and models and thinking through the process and what are we going to do next? How do we solve this problem? We finally have arrived, very recently actually, at this solution. This is what will be your new theater very soon. Uh, we figured out a way to add more seats. We, we have a dance studio down below that projects out on the Furman Field, that, that original idea. We have another performance space down in the basement. Everything's connected with an elevator, and it's going to be incredible. This is what it'll feel like very soon to sit exactly where you're sitting. And, and really, that's the message here. This is what it'll look like in Fermi Field. That every time we're confronted with a problem and we don't know the solution, that instead of sitting back and saying, boy, I'm not sure where to go, it's too scary, I, I don't know the answer, take a step forward. Get in that van, drive around the country two hours at a time, figure it out. None of us have it figured out, right? And it's always a scary mess, but enjoy the mess. Thank you.